good morning. What's up guys, Carlos Cross Texas here today, and today you join me on this unseasonably cold morning for April. Uh, we're hopping in a car I actually got to take from the dealership, a little Scat Pack Shaker Challenger. This thing is pretty sick, it's fully loaded, it's got a shaker hood, all that good stuff. Um, and we're heading out to Cypress Cars and Coffee. As you boys know, Cypress Cars and Coffee is one of my favorite meets in the Houston area. Good cars, good turnouts, good sins, good meat in general. We love to go out for this one, and they usually get to take some from the dealership. This time I got a Shaker Scat Pack. Uh, hopefully we get a little bit of attention to this thing. It is for sale, boys, at my dealership, as you all know. And uh, let's get on with the meat, boys. All right, inside the Challenger, quite different from what uh, you typically would see on the channel. I, I, you know, I the cars I've owned would suggest I'm some sort of like GM brand loyalist, but it's but I'm really not. Like, you know, I've had my two vets, I've had the Camaro. I just get good deals on them. <laughs> I like all different cars, and so today we're checking out a scat pack. Um, let's see what it's got. Well, 485 horsepower to the crank. Um, it's big, it's spacious, it's got lots of features, especially compared to my Camaro. This one's got heated and cooled seats. Got the leather and suede bucket, blind spots, all that good stuff. The shaker hood's cool in itself. It looks really cool from the driver's seat, actually. Let me close my garage real quick. There we go. But yeah, the shaker hood looks really cool from the driver's seat and that like ram air intake sort of style thing. And uh, you know, I like it. It's big, it's comfortable. Let's get on the road. Man, it's just so smooth. Not too bad. A little stock, bone stock shaker scat pack. Just delivers that power so smooth, so evenly, and it sounds good too for a bone stock car. You know, it needs definitely a, like an exhaust and some headers once you get this thing. But considering it's got 27 miles on it, it just rolled off the factory. Hmm. It has been such a string of not good weather days leading up to Easter, but I think tomorrow is supposed to be beautiful. But man, it's actually been pretty busy at the dealership. I need to sell more of these scat packs. So I got like 20 scat packs right now. So if you're in the market, let me know, boys. I got quite a few in lots of different colors. Chargers, Challengers, anything you could want. I also got a few Hellcats. Oh boys, for once in my entire life, I am on time to Cypress Cars and Coffee. I don't know if this has ever happened before. It's 7.58, the meet starts at 8, and we are almost there. If anything, I might be like a minute early. It's a new record. All right, boys, here she is. The scat pack we've got to take to the dealership. We have found our, our home here next to a new King Daytona Hellcat, which we actually just got ours in, but I think someone's actually coming in today to buy this. We had a deposit on it in-house. This thing looks sick. It's got the full uh, wide body kit and everything. One of one, one of the last call Hellcats, and uh, you love to see it out already. These are just now getting delivered to dealerships. This is probably the first customer one I've seen. Like I said, we have one at the dealership. Uh, it's about to be a customer owned dealer or a car, but you know, looks sick. Little turn me rolling through. Mm, that's nice. From Nebraska, who lives there? This Fox body, the exhaust is so quiet, but you can hear the supercharger is whistling from a distance. Get a couple of Mustangs over here. Get the slammed Mustang on the RPF ones. With a good old meaty tire back here. We got this guy over here who just put a blower on his car. Looking good. Got the red beadlocks out back. Nice touch. Got a couple old uh, hot rods over here. Look at these things. Look at those it's just headers straight off the block. That looks crazy. Look at this little thing. And we got this old uh, sled over here. This thing looks like an absolute unit covered in rust. 
That's crazy that this thing runs. Looks like this on the outside, I'm sure. Looks mighty fine under the hood. We've got an M4 competition over here with a little wing out back and some crazy looking wheels. You love to see that. Get the hood pop. What we got going on under here? Carbon fiber everywhere. We got the supercar gang out there, a couple AMGs, an X5M or X6M, my bad, I don't know which one it is, I forget, my bad, I'm sorry buddy. AMG GT, new SL, Porsche gang, all the way down to the Taycan, and then an R8. Got a Pro Charge C8. We got a, a black wing, it looks like getting trailered in. Gotta love a nice E92 M3 in a very good color. Like the frozen white. Mm. Not a wrap. Oh my goodness, we got a little C7 Z06 on a well drag pack rolling in. This thing's sounding good too. Nice, my friend. Mm. Got the homie rolling in. This thing sounds, looks so good. Hmm. A little Cobra. It's a nice kit on this 488. He's lowering. Look at the Huracan STO rolling in. Looking good. Mm. It's a spicy unit right here. Ultraviolet fucks. It does. One of one. One of one. Only one in ultraviolet, or? Yeah, 2018. Mm. GT3. There were two. There were two. The other guy crashed. Uh -huh. There we go. I'm like, I like the wheels too. What are those? Just like yeah, those, brush those, uh, silver BBS, HRE or baby BBS? FIRs. FIRs. Uh, man, this thing is clean. Things got a pretty crazy looking C6 out here. I have no idea what this thing has done to it, but it looks like it's got a little built motor here, billet intake from LME, whole lot of nitrous on top of that. I would assume this is also a turbo car by the side pipes. Of course, you got the turbo 400 in there, it looks like, and then he's got comp tur precision turbo uh, stickers everywhere. So I'm, I'm gonna go out on a limb, say it's probably a turbo car, but god damn, look at that. <laughs> and this old truck's down in gnarly. It don't look very pretty, but it's got some nice wheels on it. Under the hood, of course you got the, like the Brian Tooley intake manifold here, but tucked away, kind of out of sight. You got a little, little turbo here. I bet this thing rolls, man. I bet it does. Let's see we get the old Camaro here. Looks like a little Gen 2 split bumper type deal. Got a plum crazy old school Charger RT. Next to him, a, a rapid blue C8, an admiral blue C7, and then a, just a white C8 as well. Before we get to the set, boys, I wanted to uh, basically let you know the sponsor of today's video. You boys know I don't take many sponsorships because it's if it's not something I would buy myself, it's not something that uh, I want to promote to you guys. But today's sponsor of the video is, drumroll please, your boy. Remember boys, I sell cars. It's my primary job right now. YouTube obviously still is here as well. Um, if you want to see some cool builds in the channel, a future C6 ZR1 may be on the way. Let me know if you're looking for your next car and come shop with me. Don't pad some other random Joe Schmuck's pay, paycheck. I'm going to get you the best deal I possibly can. And uh, if you're looking for anything new, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, I'm your guy. I can get you the best deal. And um, as far as used cars go, I can get you really anything from a Prius to a Lambo. Just depends on uh, where I'd have to get it from. I can get it from uh, any, any auto nation location around the, uh, the entire country. But... If you're looking for an X car, I work with all types of credit. First time buyers are welcome. We got lots of good stuff. Let me know if I can help you in your next car. You can shoot me a message on Instagram. That's probably the quickest and easiest way to get a hold of me. Or you can email me. I'll put it on the screen right here. Uh, shoot me an email and um, let's get you in a new car, guys. But after that note, let's get on to the sins. Well, chopping six jet about to roll out. We 
got the supercharged Huracan Performante rolling in. That thing is sick. Mm. We got the V-Wagon rolling out. Nice, man. This thing is clean and sounds crazy. Supercharged Murano? Smells wonderful. <laughs> that thing is <laughs> so sick. Boys, what are you taking, the rusty Pro Charge V8 wagon or the electric Tycon? Oh my God! I love this color. Atomic Orange C6Z06. That is beautiful. death trap. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I love it. That's dad of the year right there. These wheels are sick. Oh, okay. No exhaust noise, just all blower. I love it.
Oh, shit. You got a skinny up front, stock wheel out back, only one seat inside, and you're missing your exhaust and rear valence. Clearly, you're trying to be a fast guy over here. The cops went after the vets, by the way. I think they got the vet. Bronco Raptor. <laughs> I just, I don't really, I don't really get it, man. I'm sorry, I don't. on the uh, base model stock wheels. Oh, hell yeah, brother! <laughs> the Eco Beast. You can't beat. What are you doing? Trailer in the black wing. And sending it. God, brother, what the hell is this thing?
hopping back in the scat pack. It is time for me to get to work. Um, we gotta get on back to get changed into the actual work clothes and get to the dealership. But lots of sick cars, lots of crazy sins, and overall, just another one of my favorite beats in Houston. Uh, you know, you expect the good stuff from Cypress Cars and Coffee. We're hopping back in the scat pack and we're about to go. So I will see y'all later. Hello, my friend. We got the puppy. <laughs>